cocktails. I'm your host, Eric Show, and with me, Ian Anders. We're gonna do a grenadine tasting. It's not alcohol. No! But whatever, you use it in alcohol. Shirley Temples, yo! So we're gonna make five Shirley Temples with five different styles of grenadine because, I'm curious, I even opened, these aren't even, this one's not even opened yet. I know, right? So um, come on, this is new. That's new too. I, I did open the top of that a little okay. bit. Uh, so the goal here is, first off, I wanna know what my, my best favorite grenadine is going to be. Sounds like a fair And I, I kind of line these up as to what I think least to oh, you, best this is your, be. Your generation. Oh, I haven't tasted this yet. I'm just guessing. So you guessing. made that best. Well, we had their uh, the elderflower tonic That's drinks, right. and they were really good tonic. Yeah. Uh, they the, the tonics come in bottles just like this, Jack. Exactly. Yeah. Really tasty. Um, so I was kind of assuming it would be up there with the liver. This is a Kickstarter program. This. I can't remember if Libro's Kickstarter program. Stories has been around for a while. Fee's been around, Fee's for been around, around since like pre-prohibition. And, and Rose has been around for a while. And Rose is Rose is so Rose is the control group. Rose's is the manufactured syrupy, um, syrupy high fructose, high corn, fructose syrup. corn syrup. Bright um, red. It is here as the baseline because I think everybody can get an idea of where Rose's lands and what it tastes like, and from there you can make a decision on 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 the scale. I'm gonna say Rose's is at the start of the scale. It, I don't think these will be below it, but there are. Goods and bads of every every brand. Not good and bad on flavor, but good and bad on quality. For instance, and or not, usage. on usage, not quality. Uh, for instance, the Fee Brothers has red number 40, which I believe Roses has as well. So what I'll do is when I when I publish this, I'll this is more work for me, but I will put the ingredient list at the bottom so that you can also reference right. it. But just to give you an idea, the ingredient list of roses is like a paragraph. Um, it, the first ingredient, which is usually, the, I think, by law, has to be the one that has the most, most in it. It's by quantity, yeah. High fructose corn syrup is number one, followed by water, citric acid, which is going to probably be it's most preservative. It's preservative. vitamin C, basically. Right. Um, sodium citrate, sodium benzoate Ooh. preservative, red 40, natural artificial flavors, blue one, and then that's really it. I guess the rest of it is actually just their address. So it's and, not too bad. And something that I noticed as I was pouring these things is they have very different consistencies. Yeah. The roses and the feeds are kind of syrupy. Yeah. The stirrings was almost watery by yep. comparison. And then the uh, this, the Jack Rudy and the... Uh, they fall in the middle sometimes? Liber were, yeah, kind of more in the middle, like a little bit syrupy, but yeah. not as syrupy as the roses and not as liquidy as... But the, that makes a big difference. It does. Because the sugar contents are different, which means when you're layering a cocktail, yes. you're going to get different results. I think with the stirrings, you're going to find layering is near, uh, not near impossible, but it's got 30% fruit juice. Right. So it's going to be heavier, but it's also probably going to blend in. So you might get a cool blending effect. You'll have more luck layering the fees of the roses. Right. And they have a more vibrant color also. Red 40. Red 40. Twitter. So if you're doing layering with the grenadine, you might want to use those both for the, the ease of layering and for the more graphic or right. contrasting color. And they use the same. They both use red 40 and blue one, which is probably how they get that vibrant color. Yep. This has corn sweetener, sugar, water. So again, corn sweetener comes up number one, citric acid, um, artificial flavor. So the artificial flavor with, the, with these two is specific to the yeah. fact that they don't actually have pomegranate juice in them. Now, the stirrings is the first one in the list that does. and after water, pomegranate juice from concentrate is the next biggest ingredient in here. So, so water's number one, which water's probably brings one. you to that that more liquidy. Yes, and then it's got you know cane sugar, so some cane sugar, sugar, using real sugar, some uh, citric acid for flavor, natural flavor, pectin for the thickness. I'm guessing to right. add some thickness, and then fruit and vegetable juice. I was gonna color. say, I think these three both or these three will use fruits yeah. to get the color out. And you can kind of tell because they have some kind of particulates in them. Like this has some settling on the bottom. Yeah, 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 yeah definitely. This one has, this one starts with fresh pomegranate. Okay. So that should be the core. Right. It's, that's what comes in it. Then cane sugar, then gum arabic. So that's going to be the thicker, yeah. the thicker flavor. Right. Orange blossom water, which is actually supposed to be part of the original recipe for grenadine. You usually have orange blossom water in it, which always blew my mind, but that's the case. Citric acid, sorbic acid, those are your stabilizers. And this is basically the same stuff. It has pomegranate, uh, pomegranate, cane sugar, citric acid, orange flower water, and natural preservative, it says. So what that really means is these two, refrigeration is optional. Right. These three, refrigeration is a must. Um, this one, I once think, will probably, open. once they're open. And also, when you talk about grenadines, these become more real grenadines because they actually right. have the pomegranate juice in it. Right, so if you're grenadine making a classic cocktail. cherry juice. That's right! It's, it's not, not has not nothing to do with juice. it. I always thought as a kid that cherry... <laughs> That's that, because you're used to this bright cherry red color on the roses. Well, I know. When you get Shirley Temples, they always put cherries in there. Yeah, like when you're a kid. I always thought that Shirley Temple was, was the same as Coke cherry. You know, cherry Coke. Right. But it never always it never really tastes, it tastes the same. different. Yeah, it'll probably taste more like that. Okay, so, so you want to taste these, then that. we'll make the make the uh, 
some cocktails with them. So here's our, our, our control group. Yeah. It's roses, it's everywhere. It's Everybody knows what it is. Flavored water, I think. Flavored, flavored simple syrup. Flavored high fructose corn syrup. So if you're already saying, I hate high fructose corn syrup, I hate the properties, I hate the, the industry around that, then this is already a, a, a one that you can close off on the on the next buy. It's candy. It's it's thick, it's syrupy, mm. it's all over your tongue. It's it's tasty. It tastes red. It tastes like my childhood. It yes. Tastes <laughs> it's it red tastes red. It tastes like cherry though. It does, doesn't it? That I must mean, be the artificial flavoring they're using. It doesn't it taste be. like grenadine at all. I mean no, sorry. It doesn't taste like pomegranate. So if you crack open a pomegranate, it, does not, no. it has a dry tart taste to it. That's that tastes like sugary. That tastes like if you drank maraschino cherries juice out of one of those yeah, non-good exactly. maraschino cherries. So not your Luxardo no, juice or not your uh, Jack and Ruiz. <laughs> this tastes like bourbon. That's bourbon cherries. <laughs> Heads up. That's different. <laughs> That's so, so next is the fees. We, we've used the fees a lot historically. Yeah. It's got a good color. Yeah. It's got a good consistency. It's got a good flavor. It's good for layering. All right. And it's partial chemical. It's got. Um, not high fructose corn syrup, but corn sweeteners. So I think that's like a, a tiered down from the complexity of the of the sugars. That's a half partial breakdown. Still very sweet, Ooh, very it's got syrupy. A smell to it though. It's got a different flavor. It doesn't have the. Uh, this is super thick. Yeah, it's super thick. Maybe a more rich flavor. Almost. I don't want to say cough syrupy. No. But no. It, it reminds me of something. You know what it is? Those red tootsie pops. Yeah. Yeah. It you're tastes right. like a red tootsie pop. Yeah. Like it's got. A, but a huge thickness, like gum syrup style thickness, like yeah. what you'd get out of the Liber & Co's gum syrup. Yes. Which I think is cut down in here, so it's not nearly as much. It tastes really thick. You can, you can, it's on your it tongue. It still it's doesn't taste exactly like pomegranates. No. It doesn't have the tartness because it's so sweet. Now here's our stirrings, which is, you, yep. you can see in you, as you oh, yeah, swirl it, it, it falls it's down. really liquidy. It's got, it's got legs to it. It doesn't have like... This stuff is sticking to the side. Right. That will probably dry that way. It'll dry that way. We gotta, <laughs> we gotta make sure we wash that. In advance. But if you're gonna make a cocktail where you need definite sinkage mm. and you don't want high fructose corn syrup, that's where I usually call upon fees. That's pomegranate. You can taste the pomegranate in there, even you though it's mostly water. It still got, smells like that that um, cherry. It's still yeah. Lollipop. It still it tastes a little bit like a cherry lollipop, but it's got the tartness that comes with the pomegranate yeah, it also. Does. Very dry. Yeah, it's dry. Almost well, like a cranberry juice. Yeah. If you so, didn't get cranberry cocktail. So so far we're stepping up in quality, yeah. I think. Yeah, yeah. So this is your base syrupy stuff. This is syrupy with a little better flavor. Yeah. This is the pomegranate flavor to it, I which is great. This. No, <laughs> it's nice. The difference is when I drink this, I don't get the over sweet coating in your mouth. Yeah. Where you actually want to go for the seconds. When you put these guys in your mouth, the problem I have is you want to stop. You're like, yeah. Whoa! It's like a fudge. When yeah. you eat fudge, you're like. One piece of fudge is good. It's very rich. Two pieces of fudge and you're gonna throw up. <laughs> well, uh, <laughs> I don't know if I go okay. that far, but two pieces kind of, of fudge, fudge so I don't know. <laughs> in a in a three minute period. Okay, I can do. I that. don't know. I think pieces fudge pieces should be small. Yeah, but right. grenadine is not to be consumed this way anyway. So no, thicker We're, than the stirrings, the uh, okay. the liber. It smells very earthy, but it doesn't have a lot of scent to it. Yeah, it's not quite as tart as the stirrings. I don't think. Oh, you're right. Sweetness out of it. It almost it has a candy balance. It does. It's definitely it's got like a it. candy sweetness, but a, like an earthy texture. I'm not sure that I had the stirrings before. This really isn't too bad. I mean, it's I'm, very it's very watery. I've had them, but it's been a while. Yeah. And I have more a lot more options than I used to. I think this is this is obviously going to mix the best if it's the most watery, right? Right. This is going to uh, for some of the drinks like Tequila Sunrise or whatever, where you want it to settle out. Yeah. Uh, this isn't going to have that bright color that these are going to have, but it's going to have a good flavor. Yeah. And we've used this anything in a ton that of has a yeah, anything that has a classic cocktail flavor that you're looking yeah. for, you know, a very authentic like what would this taste like in 1922? Right? Or whatever like, you, you know, yeah. something Scofflaw. They have a recipe on the side of this thing. Really like good cuz I'm going to need to put something on half ounce grenadine, one and a half ounce whiskey, ounce of dry vermouth and three quarter lemon juice. Yeah. Shake and strain, chilled cube, garnish with lemon twist. Now this one you've never had. I, I've never had the Jack and Ruby. I had a little sip of this. I know somebody didn't really care for it. Hmm, who's that? Not the one I didn't really. Well, you didn't, not that you didn't like it. It was just. Let's see if he. Do you get it's a really lot of puckery. dry? Yeah. Yeah, tart, tart. I get tart and puckery. That is. What it's it... tart, more like this is. Yep. And it's thinner, more like this, uh, or thicker. Thicker than this is. It's like halfway between those on the dry. thickness. Why? Very dry. That tastes like, to me, Jennifer's, I think, issue with it, she thought it was a, is sweeter than this. Yeah. And it was too sweet. 
she liked this one better. Okay. Um, this one though, I kind of like the tartness in the grenadines. I, I know. I think it has this has a really really defined tartness mm. to the point where it's almost like a sweet tart instead almost. of a lollipop. And you want to start pulling yeah, these out? Yeah, I was out. just thinking that. And um, we're gonna make some Shirley Temples using each of these. We yeah. already poured the ginger ale to, to, to save some time. So we're going with a half ounce of grandine and about six ounces of ginger ale. Yep. On each of these, and we're doing that just to keep it uh, the same, the same throughout, so that we have oh, we need ice. equal mix. Ice would be nice. And we're using rice. We're making a lot of dishes. Yeah. We're, we're using different. Uh, Measuring devices for each just so that uh, we don't cross contaminate. No cross contamination, especially when you're bringing a high fructose corn syrup sweetness into something that doesn't have that sweetness. You're going to add the tartness. It's like a sweet tart if you mix these two together. You know, in any opportunity I have to have Shirley Temples, he's awesome! <laughs> <laughs> you're a big fan of the Shirley Temple, Derek? Is that what you're saying? I just love it's Shirley Temples. childhood Temple. thing. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, that one. Oh, look at the color difference. Oh, big exactly. Difference. This one, because I and I, my kids have tried making Shirley Temples with this, and we've always had a double or triple the, the uh, because it's not uh, the it's amount. syrupy sweet. Yeah. Which is why I thought Shirley Temples because you're going to be able to see the color. Your Shirley oh, Temple only yeah, look has at that the color. that's almost purple. And by the way, our Shirley Temples are based on ginger ale. Sometimes yeah. they're based on citrus soda uh, sprites and ginger ale. Or Sprite and ginger ale. I've seen Sprite base. I've seen ginger ale base. I haven't ever seen a Sprite and ginger ale base, but one of the recipes we saw had Just them. Two of the recipes I saw. Yeah. Too. Although I don't really know where you would have a situation where you would know. Like, they're both <laughs> the same color. Well, one's golder, but you're, you're not going to know once you do this. Yeah, exactly. Um, All right. So this does not have a sexy look to it. No. That the sexy look is with the fees and the, granite, the roses because yeah. it's bringing yeah. out the red. Well, that's kind of what you think of when you think Shirley Temple. Yeah, right, this is what... almost the original color. It's a kid's drink for the most part. Do you yeah. want to put a, you know, a, I don't know how much these go for, twenty bottle, twenty dollar bottle of grenadine? Twenty two. Right. <laughs> twenty two fifty bottle. Of, well, but you don't use a lot. Like a six dollar. You don't use a lot. You know yeah, what I would say? Like I would. $6. I would say yes. I would, and here's why: because it would be cool. <laughs> would I be feel cool. it's better it to feed your kids something that's actually based on uh, a real m product. Rather than uh, in ma manufactured sugars, I can notice the difference. That's now. a parent thing. As I'm sipping those out, I'm like, oh, that was the roses. Oh, that was the yes. Yeah. High fructose corn syrup. If you if you look at the brick scale, I think I don't know if it's a brick or if it's just a pure sweetness. High fructose corn syrup is sweeter than regular sugar. That's it. The I'll buy that. and agave is in a different ballpark, and they have different finishes and starts to where the sweetness comes and how it diminishes. High fructose high fructose is very sweet. Mm. Um, <laughs> Good so, for a kid or a 19-year-old at a wedding unable to go to the open bar. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Good question. Depends on your definition of kid. Try that. Tastes kind of like what I'd expect. Yeah, pretty much. It's missing um, cherries, but we that's overkill for what we're doing. That's yeah. actually brighter. Yeah, the, the fees comes out really bright. I, I kind of like the fees. That's, I didn't expect that, actually. I thought the, you know what it is? This is, just looking at them, you can see the difference in just darkness. darkness. Yeah. Um, it, but they both use the same, so they just mix the colors darker. You know what, the flavor, after tasting the grenadines and now tasting oh, the Shirley Temples, the flavor of the grenadines, the, the, the individual characteristics of each of these are coming out with the ginger ale. Like, I'm guessing yeah. if, if I if I this, weren't a little bit stuffed up, some more candy. I can still taste these. If I weren't so stuffed up, I'd be able to, Go through each of these and say, yep, this has this in it, this has this in it. This actually does bring a little dryness. Yeah. This doesn't bring any dryness at all. I kind of think I like that tart tartness to it. Not a lot going on in that one, um, which is all right. Yeah, it doesn't taste it's like, like it's stirring. It's subtle, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, you would double this. Now, going back to the ch child thing, I, my kids use all my stirring, so I, I don't have any, so this is a great example. But yeah. if I was to choose, I would go with Jack over over stirrings because they're going to need like three times as much. True. This and, is saliva. And you can tell the cover, color, yeah, the saliva. You can also, if you look at them, you'll see the swirls of the sugar in these two. Yes. Almost like it was a, like an alcohol in there. These ones, it just integrates perfectly. It does, yeah. You, yeah, you can see the, uh, the syrupiness in there. And it's pretty this one might be integrated at this point, but especially when you first pour it, you can see the clouds of sugar or Whoa. corn syrup. It's not Art. bad, huh? They're, they're all distinctive. I mean, both in color and in taste, even within the Shirley yeah. Temple. This is a little acidic. Mm. Um, this is good. I kind of like those high-end ones in there, just because they, uh, 
There's a little that more tastes salt. a lot different than I would have. Th this doesn't taste like any of the other ones. No. Like, it has a different flavor to it. Almost like, I almost get a little, bit, a little bit of grape. And these three don't really kick you in the teeth like these two do with the, the no, sweetness. That's true. Yeah, so from a, uh, if you if your kids are used to roses, but you want to move up the scale, Fee makes the most sense because it's yeah. going to give them, a, it's definitely bright. Yep. It's got that impact. Works. Plus you can use it in your cocktails. The, the price difference isn't it's, crazy. It is. Um, is it? Well, it depends on what you consider a difference. This is oh. two ninety nine, I think. I don't oh, sell this right. stuff. Oh, that's right. That stuff is really cheap. Um, this is like 9 Okay, fair This enough. is probably about the same price, 9 This one's 9 because it's half the size. If you bought a bottle that was 17 because we have both, then it's like 18 or something, and this is like 22 So price-wise, they're lined up in order. Like this. Oh, okay. These something are like competitive on price, I think. Yeah. Um, so we almost have like three also. categories. We have the super low end. Yep. Then we have like a mid range, and then we have a high end. Yeah. So, but in in this lineup, I'm I'm inclined to say, do we have a measuring thing for one of those? I yeah. This was that one. Yeah, because it's so light. Yeah. Um, I'm wondering <laughs> if there's a way we can even get this close to the other ones because it does now have. Now it's close to the uh, the other high end ones, I guess. Yeah, it's got that. It's almost like a rose color. Yeah. Difference. Big difference. So it's got it's more like candy ginger ale. That tastes like candy ginger ale. Yeah, it does. Beep. These ones lose some of the ginger ale. You're basically bringing out the the flavor of of the grenadine by using the ginger ale. And it, ginger ale is a transport. <laughs> it's just yeah, like and getting it. The great face. thing about the ginger ale is with the bubbles is kind of effervescing right. it and everything. You're and these are these you can see they have more of a classiness to them where they're not changing the ginger ale as much. They're letting the ginger ale present itself. That might be a turn off to some people because it doesn't taste like those. Well, that might be a turn on to some people because and, it doesn't yeah. taste like those. Uh, no, and, and <laughs> I mean, that's true. I, you gotta look at the other know. side where people go, I don't like Shirley Temples because they're, they're too, too sweet. Yeah. Right? That's not me, so I have a hard time wrapping my brain around I have that. I a wicked sweet tooth, but I also like things that taste good, so. Yeah. yeah. And this, that one almost tastes like a, like a cocktail. It does. It has like a, a flavor like a cocktail, like there's it something does. else in there. Right. That you don't know what it is because it's yeah. something you don't get every day. <laughs> yeah, that could be it. So, so, these got more of the cocktailness. These are more like your candified flavors that you expect to get at the store. I would still go with this one. Just it's brighter. Question it's got more flavor. Question of the day. Question of the day. Yes. Question of the day. What do you prefer, lower quality and a better price, or higher quality but you have to pay an arm and a leg and not many places to buy it? I prefer quality myself. Quality or quantity? You know, it's, do you want something that's higher? Will you spend the money for higher end products? Knowing you're going to get less. You know, it depends on the product too. If it's something that you care about, like if right. it's if you care about drinks and it's a drink quality that you're looking for, then I'll pay for the quality. Right. If it's, it's toilet paper way. and I don't care what I wipe my ass with, then I'll See, go for quantity. I still go for quality for toilet paper. Well, I still do like too. I was just using that as a bad example. <laughs> <laughs> if you have a wipe your ass, you want it to be like you wipe it with pillows. <laughs> <laughs> hey Jen, what are you doing with that thing later? <laughs> She's got, yeah. she's got a pillow. Yeah, I got a pillow. She does. That's what I'm saying. This it is a big pillow, so it holds volume. It's a really big um, pillow. So if you consider like two dollars probably for twelve ounces or twenty-two dollars for seventeen ounces, it's more, but it's also not necessarily as much. You're gonna need probably more of this to get the sweetness level of that. So so if the sweetness is what you're going for, right? Yeah. Um, I would still go on this end if you're looking to to try and you know figure out where you can get some of these more rare products because some of those higher ends are more rare. You can buy them from us at Awesome Drinks. That was going to be my segue. Everything but the roses you can get at Awesome Drinks. Yeah, I, won't, I refuse to carry roses. Yeah. Uh, you want another question today? Sure. What music instrument do you play? What's your favorite music instrument? Guitar? Guitar. We yeah. both have that. Jennifer's an oboe person. Yeah. Sometimes the clarinet if she's feeling Yeah, frisky. I play the bagpipes too. <laughs> she's my dad plays the bagpipes. Does he? My really? dad's to play bagpipes. Can you guys play the bagpipes? Yeah. I guess you gotta right. do something. Yeah. All right. So that's that. Grenadine We're done. review in the bag. Good. Now I know what to do with all my grenadine. Yeah. Drink it. <laughs> We're teaching how to drink. This smells kind of cool. Yeah. It's a little less sweet, but it's got more spice to it. Mm. It's warmer. That's awesome. 